take them in for a sec? Not at all. Thanks. What's all this? Oh, there are invitations to the office Christmas party. Fox put me in charge of planning it. Congratulations. Thanks, but I'm not really that into it. You're as upset about Ethan as I am. Of course I'm upset. I mean, he's our half-brother. You know, ever since that whole secret came out that he's, you know, was your mom's son with my dad, I just really come to love him a lot. I just hope he gets better soon. Oh, that's right. You don't know. Know what? Um, all of Ethan's tests show that he's in an irreversible coma. There's no chance Ethan will ever get better. What? Uh, I'm afraid so. How did how did you find this out? When? Uh, earlier today. Oh God, I was so, I was so busy this morning. I had Maria and then Simone stopped Kay, by. I I hate to be the one to tell you this, but your dad and my mother are at the hospital now with Gwen. They went to see Doctor Russell about disconnecting Ethan from life support. Nobody wants to do it, but it's what Ethan wants. His living will clearly states that he'd rather be dead than be kept alive by machines, so Gwen feels she has to honor his wishes. Our poor brother is just lying in the hospital on his deathbed. And Teresa, who's to blame for it, is walking around scot-free. Look, Fancy, I know that Teresa has done more than her share of wild and crazy things, but her brother Miguel said, you know, that she only did them out of love, especially when it came to Ethan. Well, Miguel was too close to Teresa to see her for the self-serving psycho she really is. We are losing our brother because of her, Kay. Our brother. You can't forgive her for that. You just can't. We've all done things we shouldn't have for love. You're starting to sound like Noah. Why did he defend Teresa? More than I thought he should. I wrote it off to Noah's history with Teresa's brother, Luis. Noah practically worshipped Luis when he was younger. <laughs> well, then Luis couldn't be anything like Teresa. It's a shame he's dead and she isn't. Fancy. Please don't defend her. Noah started to and we almost got into a fight because of it. So I take it you two are back on? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully for keeps this time. We kept letting things come between us, so we made a pact not to let anyone or anything keep us apart. We're going to be open and honest with each other from now on. So we're always on the same page. Wow, that sounds great. I wish Fox and I could be open and honest with each other. Why can't you be? Because I look worse compared to Valerie than I already do. Why are you comparing yourself to Valerie? I've heard through the grapevine that you're doing a great job as Fox's assistant. Yeah, I, I thought I was too, and so I was blamed for causing this computer virus to get into all the crane systems. It was this huge mess worldwide. I think I saw an email about that. <laughs> Who can keep track? But I didn't do it, I swear. I believe you. Yeah, well, Fox didn't at first. I mean, he totally blamed me for landing him in hot water with Alistair. Ouch. Yeah, well, I mean, he's he's apologized since, but it's obvious he doesn't trust me anymore. At least not like he used to. You know, I've gone from helping him with the Singapore project to now stuffing envelopes for the Christmas party. Meanwhile, Valerie, who supposedly worked for Chad, is now weaseling her way in to help Fox land the deal. Valerie sounds like she could be trouble. I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting. I mean, she's always been nice to me. It's just, you know, she's in and I'm out all of a sudden. We'll just see about that. I'm going to have a little talk with my brother. If Fox really forgave you for this computer virus incident, then you should be helping him with the Singapore project, not Valerie. No, I, I don't want you to say anything to him, okay? I don't want to cause any more trouble. I'm just going to plan the Christmas party like he asked me to, and I'll find a way to win back his confidence. Good for you, okay? It, just remember that your place is by Fox's side, not Valerie. Okay. Hey.
Don't worry about Valerie moving in on your turf with Fox. Well, how can I not be? I mean, she's smart, she's efficient. She knows this company inside out. I mean, she's a bigger help to him on this Singapore project than I could ever be. Even if that's true, Valerie could never take your place. Fox loves you. Valerie's just another employee. With divided loyalties to Fox's competition, I might add. Chad? Valerie might be assisting Fox for the moment, but she'll be out and you'll be back in before you know it. I hope so. I know so. It's not like Valerie's a witch who cast a spell on Fox.